welcome to week eight of our Household STEM Challenge. My name is Erica and I'm the librarian at the St. Catharines Public Library. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. So this week we are going to be making marbleized paper art. So what you will need for this is some shaving foam. So you're going to want the regular shaving foam without any aloe vera or gel, so just straight shaving foam. Some food coloring, uh, a toothpick or two. You're going to need a container or a baking sheet. And you're going to need something flat like a ruler or something with a sharper edge that you can scrape things off with. And finally, you're going to need some cardstock. Um, regular paper will be a little bit too, uh, will get too wet. So you're going to want something that's a little bit thicker. Okay. So why don't you come with me and I'll show you how to create your very own marbleized paper art. Okay, so to make your marbleized paper art, you're first going to need your container and then your shaving foam. And we're going to fill the container with the shaving foam. You're probably going to need to shake the container a couple times <laughs> as you do this. And you want to fill the container with enough shaving foam to kind of cover the bottom of whatever you are using. So once you've filled the bottom of the container, you're next going to want to take a spoon or a spatula and you're going to smooth out the top part of the foam. You want it as smooth as you can get it so that there are no bubbles or pockets in your marbleized paper. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your food coloring and you're going to put little drops all over the top of the shaving foam. And you can do a few different colors. So try to choose colors that go well together. And you're going to put food coloring all over the top of the foam. The next thing you're going to need is your toothpick and you're going to take it and you're going to swirl all of the colors across the foam. So you want to keep swirling and swirling and moving the toothpick around until you kind of get a design that you're happy with. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of cardstock and you're going to place it on top of the foam and food coloring and you're going to gently press it down. You don't want to press too hard, just a little bit lightly across. And then you're going to peel the paper off and you can sort of see what design you get. The next thing you want to do is you're going to take the ruler or something with a sharp edge and scrape off the excess shaving foam. So now you have your design and you just have to let it dry. Thank you so much for joining me this week.